everybody. So I'm sure you love instrumentation like I do. I was checking my heart rate. Uh, we're at about 101, so it's sort of like a warning. I wouldn't call it a critical yet, so I think we're good. So hi, I'm Jarvis, or that's Jarvis. He's our Hubot. So let's talk about ChatOps. I'm a product owner at CA Technologies, and I support our Agile Central and Flowdoc products. Uh, Jarvis is excited to be here, but this, this is a little static, so you're going to have to bear with us. So what's ChatOps? It's like doing ops, but doing ops in the flow. Why? It's transparent. It's like pairing all the time. It's remote first. You can do automation. It's safe. There's all these things. If you want to talk about it, let's chat about it after this. Today, I want to talk about how you, we use Flowdoc, our Hubot Jarvis, and some chat ops patterns, and share what our teams do. So I want to thank everyone for letting us be very transparent. All of these examples are real. So we're just pulling back the covers. These are real things. So bear with us. Um, context, we have 18 teams in our release train, uh, over 100 people engineers and ops and DevOps and designers and everybody working together. Three sites, Boulder, Denver, Rally, continuous deployment, dozens of things going out to Prod every day. Feature toggles, they let me do that. I turn things on and off for people. Um, and so there's a ton of change happening at any time in our environment. So you know, how do we swarm around this? How do we take all those people, focus on getting great things done, uh, but still making sure that when we need to work together, we do that? So one of the patterns we use is we share the load. Um, you know, there are teams that are a little bit more sticky to ops. We have a tier one team, a support team, teams that make it really easy to measure and monitor and things like that. But we expect that if you put a service out into the world, it's your kid and you're going to take care of it. So we have of the weeks for different services and things. People stand up and say, we're going to have somebody. We're going to figure it out. They're going to be that person you talk to if you need to disrupt someone. So here, I'm volunteering to hang out with Jarvis. So if someone asks something about Jarvis, hey, does anyone know how to fix Jarvis? Um, you know, calls me, right? And so maybe somebody doesn't know who I am, but say, hey, Adam, this thing called you. I think you volunteered for this. Uh, maybe you can help me out. And sometimes that's more than one person. So who are all these people? So Jarvis list alert tags. We have a Dulcerita. Can you guess what they do? We have some interestingly named services. Um, we have on-prem, we have someone, looks like Wade is actually really good uh, with our kegerator, and he can help us switch the lines. Uh, so what else do we do? So we swarm on big problems. Uh, so sometimes, you know, if we have a P1, which is our major thing, something's really wrong, stop what we're doing and fix it, we got to get all these people uh, together and figure out what happened, right? And sometimes it takes a while to figure out what happened, and that's the hardest part. So uh, we have some P1 commands. Uh, so one of them is, what the heck is this thing? And so if you're a new person, you can say, hey, Jarvis, what is this P1 process? And you can hang out with Jarvis, and you can sort of learn about what that is. Uh, that's in our ops docs repo, which I'll talk about later. Um, and Jarvis announced P1. So when things go really bad, you pull the fire alarm. This is a real one that happened last week, unfortunately. Oh, no. Did something really go wrong? It did. I'm sorry. Um, what happened? So Safari users couldn't log in. So we get together, we announce that it pushes it to a bunch of team flows. We all get together in one place to have a single conversation. We talk, what happened? Who was it? Do we have a resolution? Looks like we're rolling forward. Should be out in five to 10 minutes. We're getting some metrics out of Splunk. We say we see it going down. We see it coming back up. We also actually recently have a fire alarm. So um, if this happens, there's a service that lives out in the cloud. It knows if we're having a P1. Things can pull it. So we have a Raspberry Pi that checks it. Uh, we got a big blue police light. What else would you hook into that? We got the red alert siren going off on some speakers. And so maybe you're playing chess. Maybe you're having a conversation. Maybe you're trying to focus and you have your chat tool down for a minute. Um, so this is really disruptive. And you can jump in for a second, come up and say, what is it? Can I help? And if you can't, you go back. And if you can, you swarm. Um, and then we inspect and adapt, right? So things go wrong. I love when people lean into things going wrong. It's just about how do we, how do we make it not happen? How do we recover faster? So how do we inspect and adapt and learn along the way? Um, our tool is a per, a post-event retrospective. This is not a tool that any one team owns. Uh, those folks involved, as part of saying, you know, we're back up and everything, they say, we're going to meet about this. We're going to meet about in two hours. We started gathering all the stuff and putting it together in a Google Doc from Splunk and VictorOps and FlowDoc and the bot and everything. Um, and 20 people get in this doc, and we get a facilitator, and we talk about what went well and what didn't go well, and how could we recover faster, and how could we detect faster. Um, and then hopefully folks take things away from that. And this is actually an example. We created a story. I asked Jarvis to tell us about this story. Um, and in this case, we're updating ops docs, which is our repo that anyone can contribute to. It's where we keep uh, things that Jason was talking about, you know, to answer some of those questions. Um, and so we got that change done the very next day. So cycle begins anew. Uh, check out my project, some of the code from today. 
on all these Tinker Lab things. And if anyone wants to talk about chat ops, I am super passionate about it, and I'd love to write some great scripts with you. Thank you. All right, thanks, Adam. So.